Rosh, take a look. I mean, as that ball's come up, he's beating Tyler Biotis. He's splitting that double team between the center Biotis. And, and then there are clean sacks, and then there are these. Well, wow. they even have a tight end over to that side to help him. He was up against the play clock. You saw him clapping. Anytime that ball gets snapped, you got to wonder whether everyone's ready for that ball to be hiked. Or and who else but Aaron Donald coming right down the pipe. It creates a little one-on-one -on -one opportunity. And this is the matchup we wondered about without Ronnie Stanley. McCary in there for him. Well, there's Hutch right there on the outside. Watch the ribbon, the tight hoop. Just turning it, and I love that aspect. Instead of going... Tries to find Irv Smith. By the time, see how he looks right? By the time he tries to find his check down, there's, he's in no man's land. And You're going to see here, they put him on the left-hand side of the offense, the rookie Chandler Zavala, the left guard. At a BK before who now has at least a half a sack in eight straight games and a full sack in six straight. How about the Ravens find guys like Kyle Van Noy, Jadavian Clowney? And see if you can get out of it. Here comes Garrett, 95 from one side. On the other side is Okoronkwo, number 54. Here we go, Hunter coming right off the edge, and he's going against the best here for the Denver Broncos, and Garrett Bowles escapes late. Russell Wilson. Watch his shoulders. Watch how square he keeps them to the line of scrimmage. That allows him to put his foot down and take that. Defensive line has a beat on the snap count. You can see they're going silent. A little head nod by the center. T.J. Watt, such a fierce rusher to begin with, but Hudson retreats so much that Watt is right back into the face of how he just swims the rookie right tackle Anton Harrison with not three now for Parsons yeah watch they bring pressure Jaron curse off the edge they send Micah Parsons all the way he's number three of the three men off the edge comes Cooper there was a point in time after they gave up that 70 point game in which they let some veterans go Randy Gregory Frank but Chris Jones is so fast to get up the field that Kelsey's not even able to help. You see, immediately he gets up the field, so he's one-on-one -on, -one on Dickerson, and then he works. On the right side, coming all the way around the dish, number 52 in white, working on Rasheed Walker. There's so many things with Hunter that you want to end up talking about, but one that kind of sticks out to me is the fact that this is the same situation we're talking about. This is a screen, so of course you are trying to let them run through, but they can't run through untouched. The rule is you want to punch, make them restart their rush before the offensive line gets out in front of the screen. Down here after a pretty good rookie year, you can see him matched up on Dorrance Armstrong on the bottom. I'd love to see another QB hit. It's his 14th one of the season. Even though he gets doubled a lot, they try everything to slide protection to him. He up for Isaac Sayamalo. Watch the, the pass protection there. And second, Kenny Pickett. And here comes Khalil Mack all the way around. See him throw by my guy Heath there. He is a fantastic player, and Mike McDonald cannot say enough good things about him. But Mata BK also gets a great push in the inside. On these zone read looks, is they want to be able to take away that big play ability, whether it's Lamar or they're handing it off. And then works back to the inside with that blitz from Hamilton and just wins one on one. Just an ole by Volson, the left guard. And, Pitt, and what Cleveland did was they blitzed the nickel, nickel defensive back, and created an opening and a one on one for Miles Garrett. You got to get a chip on him back. But the problem is Rashad White, just go go to outside. Help your guy. He's got a bad ankle. Don't release up inside. Who is a, an excellent blocker, but he's trying to step down to get to Smith. And Smith is too quick. And because of the pressure, Tua doesn't have enough time to allow that wheel route to develop. And you're going to see the pocket start to collapse on Tommy DeVito. And what he has to recognize is when that pocket's collapsing, you either have to step up and throw or step up and immediately get out instead. We've seen it come from the other side, but now they're going to bring Singleton and multiple people across the line of scrimmage. No way to block all that. There wasn't anybody open instantly. Boy, they missed 97 when he wasn't on the field hurt earlier this season, didn't they? Because when he comes into the game, he is a one-man Bermuda Triangle. And here's the punting unit out there for the Raiders. Right at the bottom here, you're going to see 94 Wilkins. He just gets right into the backfield. He pushes through the block, attempted block, 
nowhere for Jacobs to go. They're only bringing four this time around. You're going to watch Sharon Payne and K.J. Henry. They're running what's called a tackle and stunt. K.J. Henry goes inside. Deron Payne goes outside. They don't pick it up well as Tommy DeVito tries to run away. It sure looked like it was a designed quarterback draw, and Chris Jones, he just beats Kelsey right away. You got no chance. I mean, that's right where you're running the football. And now, because of how good this defense had on that series, they're going to give their own offense another opportunity. Carl Loftus. I am loving what they've done. He keeps going from the outside and then crushes right back in. And because he's so fast and athletic, he gets. Well, they put Jones on the outside. Lane Johnson, the right tackle. But this is a screen pass. So Lane Johnson lets him go by. And you see Gainwell, he's trying to get into a position. You just can't do that. Tommy DeVito, you understand it's a quick throw. Everyone is releasing out there. That's it. Throw the ball away. If it's not open, throw. you're going to see what he's able to do is he just cuts right through that offensive line. That's a tough job on the left tackle. And again, we've we've seen the relentless pursuit to the football. You know, there's a little stumble there, right? You got an opportunity to get him off balance, and he's back up on his feet and coming to the quarterback. And you're exactly right, Joe. He's the one that, that kind of funneled him in there so he could get finished off by one of his teammates. Cole said, if we get a heavy run team, you know, Yaya Diaby's going to get more snaps, and now he's showing some really good stuff in the pass rush right there, working against. Yeah, we talked about Tristan Wirfs, and now he's going up against Chase Young on this side, and, and Chase gets upfield, doesn't get the sack, but for. Yeah, well, Gilliam makes the play for the Bills earlier, and now this time, the top defensive player for. For defensive rookie of the year, you see him just sneaking in, getting a sack on Matt Staff. Your Carolina, we've mentioned all day the rookie Chandler Zavala playing left guard, returning from injury, and you know obviously Micah Parsons, Demarcus Lawrence, they get all the attention, but they are talented up and down across that. Okarakwo to be a pass rusher, a DPR a designated pass, was exemplary in the back end. He wants Calvin Austin going across field, and they double cover him. They read it well. I mean, you talk about a guy that's just getting things done right now. There's the guard. He's over. But look at double team right there. That's Davis. Then he goes inside, outside, spin move. Phillips coming off, or Phillips coming off the right and, and Chubb coming off the left. It's going to be Chubb who gets around to the outside, gets him to step up, and Phillips is able to get there. You see him both chopping. You see the ball come out. Sealer is able to get the ball out, but the whistle. Basketball, guys, with the first step quickness. Will Anderson has that first step quickness off the line of scrimmage. You might want to block him. I don't, know what <laughs> yeah. the, I don't know what the scheme was designed, but a guy with that kind of quickness, I'm not going to let him go free into the backfield. On the side here, but watch the pressure. Maryland down by Jasir Taylor, and then Nyman's too close to the quarterback on that collision. And Nothing special about this. Jonathan Allen just rips through for this sack. Going against Justin Pugh, they like Justin Pugh's professionalism, but on that play, he gets beat like a drum. Watch Deron Payne and the front four. Watch how they collapse the pocket. That's what I love about this. They get on the edges, but they start to collapse the pocket, and it leaves no room for DeVito to run in the NFL. And just watch the pressure and the way he collapses the pocket. Tyler Larson thought he could pass it off to Chris Paul. Chris Paul cannot handle him by himself. Well, watch Sebastian Joseph Day, number 51, working around, gets stood up at the beginning, Wait, wait, and then he comes off and just breaks right through. Excellent. Yeah, really a good, uh, a well-designed blitz. Cisco coming off the edge, and then Allen is going to wrap up inside, and they just take advantage. We just talked about that left side. Uh, just all the different moving. There he is in the middle. Oh, just a rough set by the guard and chasing Justin Herbert as he tried to exit the pocket. And this is kind of where the wrinkles are, but watch Brian Burns. He beats McEwen on an inside move, the tight end on the right, number 84, and it was going to be a bluff. I think he was going to keep that ball and just use the little. And your kicker gives you the ability to sit in the pocket. Like, 
you know, hey, he can come in and knock down these 60 yarders so I can look down the field and try to make a play. Now, this is a nice job. You're really going to see all the pressure coming from his right side. As Ron Payne gets there, steps up, now you get the wraparound. Uh, coming here from the inside that really makes this happen. He's able to run that little stunt, and he easily beats Brewer.